What the heck is that? Okay, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting... No! Welcome back to Waterworld, powered by Ark Sunken World. Link in the description and down below for this new map and mod for a great underwater option for Ark Adventures. Today, now that I've got some sharks, I want to take them out and actually explore the boundaries. I don't think we've got the full map just yet, and I don't blame them for that, but I am curious to see how much space we've got to play with with this beta version of the Sunken World map. So I'm going to go ahead and take out one of the maps, and I'm going to take out my GPS, show you where I'm stationed right now, and I'm going to take out one of the sharks, start with the perimeter swim, and then I'm going to go ahead and start doing a more search throughout the remaining grid line to see what territory, resources, creatures, what things of interest can we find. I'll do the grind, you skip the time, I'll be back with you when I've got some uh, information to share. Alright, so it looks like uh, 40 degrees by th uh, 0 is obviously going to be the southwest corner. And I'll go ahead and uh, give you a dive view here to see what the bottom is. Looks like we're in a region of the map that has been named, I believe, Scavenger's Deluge. And uh, this corner of it uh, almost seems to be marked by a pillar with uh, iron uh, metal nodules out of it. And I almost wonder if that's intentional. Yeah, Scavenger's Deluge. Uh, and uh, also has some of that uh, very reminiscent of uh, Subnautica growth uh, coming out of there. Give you a GPS and a uh, map signal there. Uh, very dark territory here. I'm actually very appreciative that uh, I've got a shark with some light to it. And I'm just experimenting here. Uh, so far, so good. I'll go ahead. I'm going to see if I can hit the other corner now, too. And uh, just kind of get a perimeter swim on this. Okay, point of interest to the north of the island. Uh, focus on the blue uh, location marker. 2 by uh, 20 degrees, and we've got ourselves a pretty good metal field here. Uh, this is one of the more densely populated uh, allocation of metal nodules I've seen on the map. And it looks fairly close to the surface that if you're early days, uh, you're still going to be able to farm and not suffocate all the time. So when I saw this, I knew that some of us would definitely be interested and getting our iron gear going. Ooh, crystal bonus! It's metal and it's crystal. Yeah, so this makes it even uh, doubly more so interesting there. Uh, I know I needed a few pieces of crystal myself just for a spyglass, so I'm going to help myself here, gentlemen. Nicely! What the heck is that? Okay, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting... No... Dude, that's my shark! That's my ride! That's how I'm getting home! Oh, man! Well, if you like how my shark died, leave a like and subscribe. What? Is he coming back? Oh, my gosh. Okay, is he going away or coming back? Which way is this going to go? Good lord! It's like a giant alligator. What's it called? A mosasaurus or something? Uh, nope. Not a good idea. Okay. Getting back. Swimming. Swimming. Getting back. Getting back quickly. Getting out of this drink. Now. What the... Okay, are you... Do you come on land too? Can you come on land as well? Do I get to live? I think he went away. I don't think I'm worth his time. Oh, that stunk! Okay. Let's strip everything off of him. I am so sorry, dude. Um, Did I get the saddle? Yeah, I think I got the saddle. There it is. Okay. Alright. I'm going to cut across the island. Uh, I'm going to do the hard job of getting back to the Explorer. Um, we're going to go with uh, the Classic. I'll do the grind, you skip the time, I'll catch you back at the boat. 
I'll let you know if anything interesting happens and if I survive. Thanks. <sighs> okay, one more hill and I think I'm there. There we are. Wow. <laughs> My rafts never look prettier than when I've had to actually fight to get back to them. So. Okay, so I found uh, the uh, western wall underneath here. And it's irritating me that a red drop fell on the... Okay, so coordinates about 27 by 27. Still Scavenger's Deluge. That seems to... Uh, extend the entirety of the uh, southern portion of our map here. And especially in the southeast corner, this seems to be where the big boys spawn. Another plesiosaur there. Also coming up with Lethius. I got a love-hate relationship with those things. Got a couple of bally's right here. Always feeling a little paranoid around these things. It always... They ignore me when I swim when I swim right next to them, but if I get a raft in the area, they gotta destroy those rafts. It drives me absolutely bonkers, and I know that's the reason they were made. Coming back down after an oxygen breath, check out the uh, surface bottom here a little bit. Uh, looking at a sunken variant of uh, Eurypides. I hate dealing with them, but if you got a shark or something, I love farming them. They're a great source of black pearls. I learned that uh, living at Viking Bay for far too long. <laughs> but if you want to upgrade to like a uh, motorboat instead of just a raft and you're looking for pearls, your riptides are a great source for that. I'll give you a map reference. Uh, take a look here a little bit further down the water here. Been seeing uh, metal blooms pretty stable. So iron seems to be fairly abundant. So it looks like that uh, 40 by 40 is going to be our southwest corner for right now, and that basically gives you the square perimeter of what the map's beta boundaries are right now. Uh, in the southwest quadrant, especially now that we've got some daylight helping us out, this is basically where the big boys grow. Uh, you get a lot more of uh, the plesiosaurs, and I've seen one or two lethiuses now. Uh, this is, you know, so long as you're not torquing them off, it's a cool zone to be in. There's a lot of water, so if you like the water, and you got the sunken world, this is where we're coming up on here now. Now, I've spoken to the devs, and I've checked out their discords, and I know that there is a plan for a lot of things. This is literally phase one, or almost phase zero to be specific. Uh, I mentioned earlier, metal is pretty common, uh, but as I find resources, I'll flag them, tag them, and air them for you. Uh, there is going to be some sort of uh, aquatic version of wood, but not yet implemented, so the only source of wood right now is the classics on the coast. Ooh, what do we got here? Mechalon. Yeah! Let's check this out. Like I said, the... Um, the uh, southwest corner, uh, definitely, <laughs> golly, uh, is where the big boys come. So if you're looking for something big, and I suggest you prepare well for something big, but if you want to take it on, the southwest corner of the map here is going to be where the big stuff is. And uh, that's something that I've really enjoyed checking this stuff out. Uh, if you notice the bubbles on top of uh, those gigantic mechalons, you can top off your air tanks there. Uh, so you can breathe while you're on top of those from those air bubbles. Uh, oh my gosh, one, two, three, and four is over there, right? Yeah, so we got four of them right here. Okay, I'm. it's a rare day I saw one. Then on this map previously I've seen two. Now I'm seeing four. Dude, nicely. Okay, it looks like we got ourselves, what is it, a bally fight, a shark fight? Okay, it's a shark and a bally. Either way, I'm not necessarily on to get into that fight. Mechalon. 
Yeah, uh, if you're curious, I'm using the Super Spy Class uh, mod because I just really appreciate the additional information you get from that. If you're an explorer, it's something I really encourage. Um, yeah, so this kind of gives you an idea of the boundaries. Uh, let's see, we talked about metal. Pearls are in clamshells and along the shore. Wood. Uh, fiber, thatch, standard resources are in the normal locations on the surface there. Um, trying to think through here. Have not seen an oil source yet, or at least a like oil node. But do keep in mind that you can get some oil from uh, you know the whales, the valleys as well. So that might be an option I look into. It's going to be slow going with oil. But this is also beta on the map, too. Um, polymer. You've got penguins right along the uh, coast edge there, so that's no problem. Or a penguin variant, so that's not a problem. Uh, trying to think through the major resources here. Been able to chew up some critters for chitin and keratin when you need that stuff. Let me let me kind of continue to explore. I'll get back with you here. I'm trying to get you guys as much information as I can. So I'm trying to play Canary. Okay, I'm trying to go in here, find the nooks and crannies, give you a scouting report, so you can go in with more information than I have when I've uh, first dumped into the sea here. I'm trying to help you. All right, and this is what I mean by Clash of the Titans here. We got uh, pretty much a traditional shark up against, uh, looks like a pair of plesiosaurs. We've got a Lethius in the background who I think wants to take a piece out of the winner. <laughs> hey man, I got next. <laughs> hey, you want a piece of me? <laughs> Alright, so I knew they were here, but I finally discovered my first one closer to land. By about uh, 22 by 18, we've got the first underwater cave that I've discovered. Now again, I'm stressing what I personally have discovered. If you found more, please feel free. Drop the links in uh, the GPS's down below. Let's explore this stuff together. But this is enough room, I think, for a one-person uh, base. I don't think we'd hit a tribe in here. <clears throat> but I give you an idea of where we are and where we get out of here. Alright, so as a courtesy, I'm going to do my best to put all these notes into the map for you and get that to you. And when you do that, then uh, we get kind of the following. Uh, you can tell I put in my southwest and southeast corner markers. I didn't throw one up for the northeast, but I think it's pretty uh, logical that it's the uh, 40 degree marker. Uh, taking a look then up in the North Territory at about uh, 5 degrees by 20 degrees, we've got the Metal and Crystal Field. I think that might be of most interest to most people. You can sail around or just cross the island to get to it if you're looking for a large amount of Metal and Crystal. Just be aware that that was the area that that, uh, I forget what it's called, Giant Crocodile killed my shark. So go there with caution. But go there. And then, of course, for everyone's navigational benefit, I've gone ahead and uh, marked the uh, green obelisk. Uh, looking then on the southeast corner of the map, this again is the uh, sunken uh, deluge, and this is the deep water where the big boys play. Okay, the Latheuses, uh, the huge turtles, I mean, this is where the big stuff is. Uh, I kind of marked the territory so you can avoid if you want, to the best of your ability. Or, cry frankly, if you want to go there yourself to try and tame one of those big boys, I don't blame you. But, uh, you know, to each their own game, at least uh, play with knowledge. Uh, that's exactly why I'm here. If there's uh, other questions, concerns I can possibly help you with, uh, drop a comment down below. If you like what you see, leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more, that's what playlists are for. I'm Commander Tom, and I will see you next time. Thanks.